Thanks for sticking around for the nuts and bolts section. We'll get things uh, set up here. Uh, I believe uh, following this section is the uh, award to uh, Governor Schwarzenegger. So again, the idea of, quote, nuts and bolts is that you've learned a lot of theory and science, but what are the little day-to-day -day practical aspects of hormone optimization? And that's what we intend to deal with. We'll take each hormone in a section, and then we'll take questions with the mic uh, that'll be out by the camera there so everybody will be able to hear. Okay, so we're going, we'll start out, we spent a lot of time some of the uh, recent literature on testosterone, and here we go. So we'll go over some of the practical details now. Is the thumb drive? Okay. Okay, here, yeah, that's a nut and a bolt. So we'll go through each hormone, and by philosophy and science, should be bioidentical. And you know, it's interesting that you hear some criticisms of this field. They say, oh, there's no such thing as bioidentical. Well, it's just a word. It's just a terminology. And it simply, as you know, it means atom for atom, this substance is identical to an endogenous hormone in the human male or female. Simple. How can you say it doesn't exist? What are the symptoms of deficiency? What lab tests should you get? And again, you know my bias is that this is a clinical specialty and labs help us confirm our diagnosis, but we're not dependent on labs to make the diagnosis. Safety issues, controversies. Again, the goal is wellness. The goal is to decrease chronic inflammation to keep our patients uh, healthy. So if you end up in this little uh, wellness box, you win. So all the different presentations here, whether it's on omega-3s or green lip muscle oil or stress reduction or vitamin D, all fit into this paradigm where if we can decrease nuclear factor kappa beta, which turns on Cox and Lox enzymes, which converts omega-6s to the bad eicosanoids, if you can interrupt that process, you've got wellness in your patient. Again, testosterone, DHA, melatonin all fit in here, which inhibit nuclear factor kappa beta and decrease chronic inflammation. So again, the four major studies and major journals that the higher the testosterone, the lower the mortality. Uh, of note is the Shores study, and this is a little review from yesterday, which was a treatment study. Well done, 1,000 male veterans, patients on testosterone replacement had half the mortality with a very statistically significant value. And interestingly, slightly less prostate cancer. We reviewed this JAMA testosterone study, which made headlines. And I don't know, some of you were here yesterday, perhaps some not. And of course, the headline is, testosterone causes heart attacks. Well, of course, the study in analysis the conclusions are actually exactly opposite of what the authors claimed. If you take the raw data, the testosterone group had significantly lower MIs, CVAs, and total uh, mortality. And so you can pick it apart in a lot of ways, but basically the conclusions are not supported by their own data. But the, uh, and JAMA published a revised version commenting on the raw data versus the statistical data. But the problem is, where's the headline on this revised version? Of course, it's not done. We're just stuck with the damage from the original one. And it is real damage because we know that testosterone optimization is going to save a lot of lives. There's going to be less insulin resistance, less cardiovascular disease. And now patients who are frightened by this uh, hysteria from a study that is not a good study where its conclusions are not valid really is going to end up killing people. Just like the Women's Health Initiative study, it's estimated there's different analyses of how many women died prematurely because of those recommendations, 20,000 to 90,000. So again, the trouble with this JAMA study, it wasn't, no one saw the patients or even read all the fine details in the chart. They just looked at codes of what was done and 
It just doesn't make sense. So multiple problems, 